So if you watch my videos and you know what I'm starting off with, I am going to use Sigma's Catch Eyeshadow with a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to put that above my crease as a transition color just to make the colors blend a little more nicely. I'm going to take this Sigma Warm Neutral palette and it was in my last video because it's definitely a favorite of mine. I love it. Um, I'm going to take this kind of maroon color in my Sigma E25 blending brush and I don't want such a harsh cut crease. It's going to be kind of soft so I'm going to take that just above my crease and blending that upward only. And since I don't want such a sharp cut crease, I'm going to keep, after I apply that color, I'm going to keep blending it out until it kind of looks, that line kind of looks kind of smooth and not so sharp. But also just keep blending upward and not down. Then taking Sigma's eyeshadow base in Provoke and a flat brush, I'm going to apply that just to my eyelid just to clean it up a little bit and get ready for the color that I'm going to put on top. And then taking this really soft matte pink color from the palette, I'm going to apply that over the Provoke eyeshadow base that I just applied. Just to my eyelid only. And then I'm going to take this matte white, or it's kind of off-white color, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner, corner of my eye just to open up my eyes a little bit. And because I don't want to do too much to the lower lash line, I'm going to take this like soft brown matte color from the palette and I'm going to apply that with my Sigma E30 pencil brush, just blending that on my lower lash line. It just gives it a softer effect. And then you can add any black eyeliner to your waterline and I didn't want to wing for this look so I'm just going to apply a thin line of eyeliner. And then as you know, curl your eyelashes, apply mascara, and your fake lashes, and then you're done. And the reason I film close up is because I'm showing you an eye look. I hate when I watch videos and they're doing, they're so far back and they're doing their eyes and I'm like, I can't even see what you're doing because you're so far away. I hate it. So that's the reason why I film so close up. Just a little FYI. 